Hi, this video is going to cover expanding and simplifying algebraic expressions. Uh, the learning goal for this video is to be able to expand algebraic expressions using the distributive property and simplify expressions by collecting and combining like terms. So hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to um, expand and simplify an algebraic expression like that. So before we get started, we're going to just re um, review how to use the distributive property and then how to combine like terms. So for the distributive property, let's say we have seven times the quantity 2a minus 3. So this 7 is going to multiply into each of those two terms. So 7 times 2a, so it's 7 times 2, that's going to be 14a. And then 7 times negative 3, so that's going to be uh, negative 21. Remember, that's as simple as it gets because that's an a term, and this is a constant term, and so they can't combine. Um, let's look at another example. We have 3x times 4x plus 5. So 3x is going to multiply into each of those two terms inside the bracket. So 3x times 4x, I'm going to do 3 times 4, that makes 12. And then x times x is x squared. And then 3x times this positive 5, I'm going to write plus 15x. Because this has an x and the 5 doesn't. So there's really only one x and this one had 2. All right, uh, when we're combining like terms, the first thing we need to do is collect the like terms. So I notice that there are some x squared terms here in this expression, so I'm gonna write those first. So I'm gonna write 3x squared plus 6x squared. And then I'm gonna write the x terms. So I'm gonna write plus 2x minus 5x. And then uh, I'm gonna write the constant terms at the end, so that's minus five and then plus seven. So if we combine like terms now, we're going to do 3x squared plus 6x squared, so 3 plus 6 makes 9x squared. Now notice I don't add exponents here when you're adding like terms. 2x minus 5x, that's going to be minus 3x, and then negative 5 plus 7 is uh, positive 2. And again, that's as simple as that expression gets as well. Uh, so now we're going to expand and simplify some, um, uh, some expressions like this. So um, the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to use the distributive property to multiply in to each um, bracket. And then we're going to, uh, that way, remove the brackets. So let's do the first one over here. We've got 3 times x and then 3 times 4. Now, if you don't see a number in front of the x, remember that there's an invisible 1 there that you can write in. So 3 times 1x is 3x. And then 3 times positive 4, so I'm going to write plus 12. Uh, here we've got a minus. Now, again, I don't see a number in front of this bracket, but there really is one. It's an invisible 1, so I can write it in. So negative 1 times 2x is minus 2x. And then negative 1 times negative 3 would get me plus 3. So now we've got this expression here. We're going to collect the like terms and then combine them. So I'm going to write 3x. And then here I'm going to write minus 2x. So I'm writing the x terms together. And then now I'm going to write the constant terms together. So I'm going to write plus 12 and then plus 3. We'll combine our like terms now. So 3x minus 2x. So I'm really just dealing with 3 minus 2. So that's 1x. So I don't really write the 1. I'm just going to write x. And then 12 plus 3 is going to be 15. And that's a positive 15. Now that's as far as I can go in terms of simplifying this because this is an x term and this is a constant term. They can't combine. So I can't write something like 16x. Okay, That won't make sense. Okay, So... All we do is we use the distributive property to remove the brackets, and then we sort out the like terms, and then we combine them. So let's do that again over here. We've got um, 2a squared minus 3a plus 6 plus 3 times the quantity negative a squared plus a minus 2. So I don't see a number in front of this bracket, so I'm going to write the invisible 1, and I'm going to multiply this into each term inside this bracket. So we've got to do it three times here. And then we're going to multiply this 3 into each of these terms over here. So 1 times 2a squared, well that's just 2a squared. 1 times negative 3a, so 1 times negative 3 is just negative 3, so I'm going to write negative 3a. And then 1 times positive 6 is plus 6. 
So one times really anything inside of a bracket would be just the same thing. All right, so let's do um, uh, positive three times negative one. Again, there's an invisible one. So uh, three times negative one, that'll give me negative three a squared. Uh, three times one a, so that's plus three a. And then three times negative two will get me negative six. Okay. Now that the brackets are gone, I can uh, sort out the like terms. So I'm going to write the a squared terms first. So that's 2a squared minus 3a squared. And then I'll write the a terms next. So minus 3a uh, plus 3a. And then I've got the constant terms. So that's plus 6 minus 6. All right, let's combine our like terms. So 2a squared minus 3a squared. So 2 minus 3, that's minus 1. So I'm going to write minus a squared like this. And then negative 3a plus 3a, well, those are going to sort of cancel each other out or subtract out or add out, whichever one you want to say. So that's going to end up being 0. So I don't need to write anything. Also here, 6 minus 6, well, that's also 0. So I don't have to write anything for that. So this expression simplified is just negative a squared. So now I'd like you to try some of these questions. So pause the video and try to simplify these expressions. Remember first use the distributive property to multiply in and then you can get rid of the brackets and sort out the like terms and then combine them. All right, so pause the video, give these questions a try um, and see how you do. Press play when you're done. Good luck. Okay, we're gonna multiply the five right, with each of these two terms and then we're gonna multiply the three into each of these two terms. So five times two a, that's 10 a. 5 times negative 7, so that's minus 35. Now 3 times a, which is really 1a, so that's 3 times 1a, that's 3a. 3 times negative 1 will get me minus 3. So if you sort out the like terms, you're going to get 10a plus 3a. And then we'll write the constant terms, that's minus 35 minus 3. 10a plus 3a, that's 13a, then minus 35 minus 3, get minus 38. All right, here for this one, the 2 multiplies into each of these three terms, and then that minus 1 is going to multiply into each of these three terms. So that'll look like, oh, there's an invisible 1 here, so 2 times 1x squared, that's 2x squared. That'll be minus 10x and then plus 2. The negative 1 multiplies in, so negative 1 times 5 is negative 5x squared. And then there'll be minus 2x, negative 1 times negative 3 is plus 3. All right, sorting out the like terms, I'm going to write 2x squared minus 5x squared. And then there's negative 10x minus 2x. And then the last but not least, the constant term. So that's plus 2, and then here plus 3. All right, combining those, you should get minus 3x squared. Um, negative 10x minus 2x, that's minus 12x. And then 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay. So multiply to get rid of the brackets. Then you're going to get a, a scramble of terms. So you sort out the like terms. And then you just combine the like terms. All right, our next examples involve a variable outside the bracket, but the same skills are, are going to apply. We're going to um, use the distributive property to multiply whatever's outside the bracket with everything that's inside the bracket. So 4x times 3x, we're going to deal with the number parts separately. So that's 4 times 3, so that's 12. And then a times a is, uh, sorry, x times x is x squared. Now 4x times 5, that's going to be 4 times 5, that's 20x, because that has an x and the 5 doesn't. Okay, so you have just have 1x. Um, now let's do the same thing for this bracket. So negative 2x times 5x. So deal with the number part, so that'll get you negative 10. Then x times x is x squared. Now negative 2x times negative 6, so that's plus 12x. Now we sort out the like terms, so I'm going to write the x squareds together. 
and then I'm going to write the x terms together. So that's plus 20x plus 12x. Finally, we combine these like terms. So 12 minus 10. So that's uh, 2. So that's 2x squared. And then 20 plus 12. So that's plus 32x. Remember, you can't add these to make, let's say, 34x squared, because this is an x squared term and this is an x term. So they cannot combine. All right, let's try that again. Here we've got 6a times 4a minus 3. So I'm going to multiply the 6a into each of the terms inside. Similarly over here. Okay. So uh, 6a times 4a, that's 24. And then that's a squared. 6a times negative 3, that's 18. A. Now this is negative a. Remember, if you want to write the invisible 1 to help out, that's good. Negative 1 times 10, that's minus 10a squared. And then negative 1 times negative 7, that's minus 7a. All right. Now we sort out like terms. So I'm going to write the a squared terms first. And then I'll write the a terms next. So that's minus 18a minus 7a. All right. Finally, combining the like terms, so 24a squared minus 10a squared, that's 14a squared. Negative 18a minus 7a, that's minus 25a. Okay. So it's pretty much the same thing, except you just got to be careful now when you multiply variables that you have to use exponent rules okay, to add the, ex um, the, the exponents. So why don't you give this question a shot, pause the video, and then when you're ready to check your answer, press play. All right, so we're going to multiply this 8a oops, into each of these two terms here, and then we're going to multiply the negative 5x into each of those terms there. So 8x times 2x, so that'll be 16x squared. 8x minus 3, that'll get you minus 24x. Over here, the negative 5x minus, uh, times 4x, that's minus 20x squared and then minus 5x. All right, sorting out the like terms, you got 16x squared minus 20x squared. And then let's write the x terms. So minus 24x minus 5x. All right, combining these, you get oops, negative 4x squared and then uh, minus 29x. All right, the last few examples involve expressions where there's two variables, but don't worry, it's pretty much the exact same thing. When we have two times everything inside this bracket, so we got to multiply them separately, and then negative three, we're going to multiply into uh, those two um, uh, terms. Um, so let's see what we get. Two times three a, well that's six a. Two times six b, well I get twelve b. Negative 3 times 5a, well, that's minus 15a. Negative 3 times the negative 1b, that's plus 3b. So let's take a look. We've just got a terms and b terms. They're separate or they're different. So we sort out our like terms. I'm going to write the a terms, and then I'll write the b terms. And then all we do is combine them like we've been doing. So 6a minus 15a. That's negative 9a. And then uh, 12b plus 3b, that's positive 15b. Okay. Now, you might get some more complicated two variable terms, but again, the same skills apply. We're going to multiply an invisible one that's out here with each term inside this bracket, and then a negative uh, one into each of those terms uh, inside that bracket. So 1 times everything inside the bracket, well, that's going to be the same thing. So 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. It's just like that. And then negative 1 times 3x squared y, so that's minus 3x squared y. Negative 1 times 5xy squared, that's minus 5xy squared. So the only difference here now is we got to sort out the x squared y terms. So I'm going to write those two over here together. So 5x squared y minus 3x squared y. And then I'll write the x, y squared terms together, okay? Because those are different, 5 and then 5xy squared. 
All right, we're going to combine these. So that's 5 take away 3. That's 2 x squared y minus 11 x y squared. Okay, so your turn. You're going to do a couple of these. So pause the video, give these two questions a try, uh, a try and uh, when you're ready to see how you did, press play. Good luck. So we're going to multiply the 6 into each of these two terms here, and then that m invisible 1 into each of these two terms over there. So that should get us 30x minus 18y, and then 1 times 2, that's going to be plus 2x, and then 1 times this invisible 1y, so that will be plus y. Sorting them out, so that's 30x plus 2x, and then minus 18y plus y. So 30x plus 2x will get you 32x, and negative 18y plus 1y, really, right? So that'll get me um, minus 17y. All right, finally over here, 3 times each of those two terms inside should get you 12 a squared b minus 15 a b squared and then two times uh, each of those two terms inside the brackets there should get you plus 2 a oops a squared b minus 6 a b squared okay sorting out the like terms so that's 12 a squared b uh, plus 2 a squared b and then we'll write the AB squared now. So minus 15 AB squared minus 6 AB squared. All right, when we combine those, we're going to get 14 A squared B. And then if we combine those, so negative 15 minus 6, that's minus 21 AB squared. All right, so let's sum things up with some success criteria. So um, uh, make sure that, again, you start by expanding by using the distributive property to multiply into the brackets uh, to get rid of them, and then you're going to collect and then combine the like terms. If there's no number in front of the bracket or in front of the variable, then there's an invisible one. So if you want to write it in to help yourself out, um, feel free to do that. Uh, when you're multiplying variables, make sure that you're using the exponent rules and add the um, exponents. And the last thing is um, uh, the main... Um, errors that students make um, when you're expanding and simplifying expressions is, are just keeping track of all the plus signs and the minus signs. So make sure you do it very carefully and double check your work and you can even use a calculator, okay, just so that those mistakes aren't made. All right, I hope this video has made expanding and simplifying algebraic expressions clear. Uh, thanks for watching.